Hello everybody, this is Mr. Navarrete, and today I'll be going over the ideal gas loss homework. So, let's get started. For number one, it says, the book claims that the volume of one mole of an ideal gas at standard temperature and pressure is 22.4 liters. Use the ideal gas law to confirm this. So, first thing I'm going to do is write down my equation. PV equals nRT. Now we're going to show the relationship between pressure, volume, moles, and temperature, all with our value of R. I need to find volume, so I'm just going to isolate volume already. I get my volume is equal to my number of moles times my R value times temperature times pressure. Because I am in standard temperature and pressure, I know I'm going to have 273 degrees Kelvin. My pressure is going to be at 1 atm. I'm told I'm at 1 mole, so that's going to go there. I need to choose an R value that matches the units so that they can all cancel out. When I plug all of that in, 1 mole is what I was given. My R value, I chose 0 0.0821 liters per atmosphere per mole times Kelvin times 273. And all of that divided by 1 atmosphere. Now I chose this R specifically because I am in atmosphere. Plugging all that into my calculator, I get a volume of 22.4. Hey, that's exactly what the book tells me. For number two, it says don't use a calculator, use your brain. What will be the volume at standard temperature and pressure of one mole? We just solved for this. At one mole, the volume is going to be 22.4 liters. Now, what about three moles? Well, we're going to need three times as much volume, so that's going to give us a volume of 67.2 liters. Now, what about 0.5 moles? Well, that means we're going to need half of the volume that we would need for one mole. So we'd get a volume of 11.2 liters. What about 2.5 moles? Well, that's going to be somewhere between one mole and three moles, so you can either take, you can take the volume of three moles and subtract the volume of 0 0.5 moles to get 2.5 moles, whatever you choose, as long as you get a volume of 56.0 liters for 2.5 moles. Next up, again, we're still not using our calculator, but we need to find out how many moles of a gas at standard temperature and pressure will have a volume of, for A, 33.6 liters, well, if we know that one mole is 22.4 liters, then we just have to find the relationship between 33.6 and 22.4. It's going to be 1.5, so that's going to be a total of 1.5 moles. For 56 liters, that's going to be 2.5 times as much, so 2.5 moles. For C, 5.6 liters, that's 10 times less than 56.0 liters. So using that, I can just divide 2.5 by 10 to get a number of moles of 0 0.25 moles for 5.6 liters. Lastly, 112 liters, that's going to be 5 times as much as 22.4. So I'm just going to get a volume. Well, for that volume, I'd get 5 moles. Next up it asks, what is the volume of 2.30 moles of oxygen gas at 27.0 Celsius if its pressure is 1.5 atmospheres? So first thing I'm going to do is write my equation. PV equals nRT. Looking at what I was given, 27.0 degrees Celsius, I need to make that into Kelvin. So once I make that into Kelvin and plug in all of my values, I get 1.50 atmospheres times volume is equal to 2.30 moles. The R value that I chose, because I am in atmospheres, I have to make sure that that one's in atmospheres as well. And 300 Kelvin is going to be 27 degrees Celsius. Solving for V, I get all of that. And plugging that into my calculator, I get a volume of 37.8 liters. For number five, it asks, a sample of gas is confined inside a 500 milliliter flask at a temperature of 23.5 degrees Celsius that the flask contains 0 0.0123 moles of gas, what is the pressure of this gas? So, first thing I want to do is write down my equation. Few things to note. We are given our temperature in Celsius, but also our volume is in milliliters. All of the R values that we have are in liters. So before we can do anything, we need to convert 
23.5 Celsius to Kelvin, and 500 milliliters to liters. So plugging all of that in, I get my pressure, which is what I'm going to solve. 500 milliliters becomes 0 0.500 liters. That's going to equal to 0.0123 moles times 0 0.0821 liters times atmospheres divided by mole per Kelvin times 297 Kelvin. The only things I've changed, 500 milliliters to liters and 23.5 degrees Celsius to Kelvin. So isolating for my pressure and plugging all of that into my calculator, I get a pressure of 0 0.600 atmospheres. For six, it asks what temperature would be needed to confine 2.40 moles of an ideal gas to a volume of 40.0 liters at a pressure of 0 0.95 atmospheres. First thing I'm gonna do is write down my equation, PV is equal to NRT, and then plug in everything that I was given. I was given my pressure, my volume, the number of moles, my R value, I just have to make sure that it matches the pressure that I was given, atmospheres and atmospheres. And I have to solve for T, isolating T, and plugging all of that into my calculator, I get a final temperature of 193 Kelvin. For seven, it asks how many moles of an ideal gas are in 4.75 liters if the pressure is 2.25 atm and the temperature is 37 degrees Celsius. Again, got to write down my equation. PV is equal to NRT. And my temperature is in Celsius. I need to convert that to Kelvin. Plugging all of that in. I see that I need to solve for the number of moles. So isolating my N. I get all of that. Plugging it into my calculator, I get 0 0.420 moles. For eight, it asks, what is the volume of 32.00 grams of oxygen gas at 27 degrees Celsius and 0 0.75 atmospheres? First thing I'm gonna do, write down my equation. PV is equal to NRT, but, well, first off, I'm given my temperature in Celsius, so I need to convert that to Kelvin. But more importantly, I'm not given the number of moles. I'm given grams of oxygen gas. Luckily, you already know how to convert that. Go from grams to moles. And if you're still having issues with that, there's an extra practice sheet that was posted, but make sure to take a look at it. I'm gonna convert 32.00 grams of oxygen into moles. So in order to do that, I need my molar mass, 32.00 grams of O2, times, well, one mole of O2 is equal to 32.00 grams of oxygen. So that gives me one mole. Now I'm ready to plug in all of my values. I see that I need to isolate V and solve for it. Isolating V and plugging all of that into my calculator, I get a volume of 32.8 liters. For nine, it asks, what is the volume of 14.0 grams of nitrogen gas at 127 degrees Celsius and 105 kilopascals? Again, first thing I want to do is write down my equation. PV is equal to NRT. And again, we are given our grams of nitrogen gas, but not the moles. But we can find it. Using the molar mass, I get 14.0 grams of NO2. Well, one mole is 28.00 grams. So I get 0 0.50 moles of N2. Plugging all of that in, I get my pressure is 105 kilopascals. My volume is what I'm trying to solve. Moles, we just calculated them. The one thing that is different is my R value. See, now I change it so that it matches my pressure of kilopascals to the one that I was given. And 127 degrees Celsius is 400 degrees Kelvin. Isolating for V and plugging all of that into my calculator, I get a volume of 15.8 liters. Last one, what is the volume of 25.0 grams of carbon dioxide gas at 125 degrees Celsius and 750 torr? I'm gonna write down my equation, PV is equal to NRT. And again, we are given grams, not moles. So we have to convert it using the molar mass of CO2. 25 grams of CO2 is going to give me 0 .5, 0 0.5681 moles of CO2. 
With that, I can plug it into my equation. 750 tor, I need to find my volume. Moles, we just calculated them. We have a different R value since we are working with tor or pressure. And 125 degrees Celsius becomes 398 Kelvin. Isolating V and plugging all of that into my calculator, I get a volume of 18.8 liters. And that's it. If you have any questions, make sure to message myself or Mr. Morgan on Schoology. If you're having issues converting with molar mass, take a look at the handout. Other than that, stay safe and I'll catch y'all next time.